So, like a lot of people, I have been viewing the uh, the new Microsoft Windows 8 developer preview, and looking around, I haven't had a chance to get a copy of the 2008 server yet, but um, I am in the middle of downloading the, the regular client preview with the new tablet-friendly interface. And uh, look at all this information about their upgraded PowerShell and their new headless server. And I'm thinking to myself, why do I like this new direction? And it dawns on me, they're bringing everything that I liked about Linux into Windows. Um, traditionally, as far as I know, um, the Windows server required a full graphics stack to run. That means you had to have a computer that had a monitor to be able to run a server. Which, if you're a Linux nerd, you know, that seems kind of backwards. Why would you waste the energy and resources to put a monitor on there? And now, um, that's optional, which is because of their updated PowerShell. I don't know how they handle remote logging. I, I know in a uh, in Linux and Unix, we've always had system like uh, uh, SSH or um, what's that other one? Uh, serial connections, you know. And I assume they're getting something, something like that, but I haven't seen anything about it. I've done some googling under uh, PowerShell remote connections, PowerShell SSH. Some people are doing like a back, kind of a workaround to use an, a program like Putty to log into PowerShell remotely via SSH. And that seems smart. I don't know if Microsoft's going to roll out anything similar to that. It'd be great if they had it as an open standard so that you could use it in programs that are open, like Putty. Um, because that would, that would that'd be very smart. <laughs> um, but I'm curious to use it. I'm curious to learn PowerShell. Um, I just need to get a hold of a developer copy, which is not public and open that I know of like uh, the Windows 8 client is. Though um, I'm also interested in their web standards compliant design interface. Like they're using JavaScript and languages like that instead of their own proprietary shit. Though I do know that .NET does play a big role because they're not stuck to the x86 platform anymore, the Intel based platform. Um, so that's kind of curious to see where that's going to go. If I can build a .NET application that would run flawlessly on all desktops, I hope. I, I think that's the idea of .NET, isn't it? I could be wrong. But yeah, regardless, um, that's my little rant about uh, Windows 8. And I might do a review. I'm not sure if I'm going to be very good at it being not really a Windows guy, but um, I might work something out. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys like to see that, let me know. If you guys don't really care about the Windows 8 thing, let me know too, and I'll bring it up on there. I know a lot of you guys came in here because I'm, I'm a Linux nerd, and a lot of you guys are Linux nerds, so. Anyways, I enjoy my soda, and uh, keep downloading my developer preview. Mm. Also, I put a hashtag in the description if you want to grab a torrent of the developer preview. It's the same exact files on the, on the Microsoft site, but it's a little faster because there's no congestion. And plus, you can use your favorite BitTorrent application to get it. Alright, kids. Peace.